Well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Web Monkey. I hope you're doing well. Today, we are going to explore how to create video and image sliders using the fastest and the most responsive WordPress slider plugin. And the plugin is called the Soliloquy plugin. Now, up until about a few weeks ago, I used the Nivo slider and Revolution slider plugins to create slides with WordPress. Now, those were my two uh, go-to plugins for creating slides. I had never ever had a soliloquy before, but I stumbled upon an article on WPBeginner.com where they were exploring the five best slider plugins. And when it came to speed, they said soliloquy was the fastest of them all. And here's actually the article. I will have a link in the description box below if you're interested in reading more. But you can see that the page load time for Soliloquy was at 1.34 seconds. Nevo Slider and Layer Slider came in second at 2.12 seconds. So this is almost a difference of one full second. And I thought this was insane. I thought this wasn't true. So I tried using the plugin and it turns out that this plugin is incredibly fast. It is by far the fastest slider plugin I've ever used and you can create image sliders, video sliders, HTML sliders, and it's also bloody responsive. You will see what I'm talking about in just a few uh, minutes. Let me show you how you would create slides using this plugin. When you install and activate it, you will see this soliloquy tab right in here. The first thing you want to do is to click on settings. And this is where you would add your license key. It is a premium plugin with different kinds of licensing options. So you'd add your key in there and they do have the fix broken migration button right here. Should in case in the future you change the URL of your website that might affect your slides. So this button right here will fix any issues that you might have as a result of the change in the URL. They do have add-ons right in here as well. And depending on the kind of license you choose, you will have access to some of these add-ons. I chose the multi license and as a result, I have access to this six add-ons. I have my CSS add-on where I can add custom CSS styling. And we do have the Instagram add-on where you can import images directly from Instagram into your slides. There is also the protection add-on which I actually went on to activate because I think this is very, very important. This prevents users from being able to download your images online by simply right clicking and downloading the images. And we also have the slider themes add-on which provides you with pre-built templates that you can use to customize your WordPress slider. The more expensive licenses have or will provide you access with the carousel add-on, the dynamic add-on, the lightbox add-on, and so on and so forth. All right. Now, how would you actually uh, create a slide using the plugin? Well, you're going to click on add new, first of all. And now in here, we can add the title. So let's go with images. We'll create an image slider first. So let's say images. And then we can choose the source for our files. We can either go to our computer or select files from other sources, which means from the media library. So I'm going to click there. And over here, I have quite a few images. So I'm going to choose uh, this one, first of all. Uh, let's choose this one, this one, this one right here. And let's go with this one and this one. All right going to insert them into the slider and for each individual image I can click on the pen button right here and change the title the alt text caption and so on and so forth we can also change the position by simply clicking and dragging and dropping the image into the desired uh, position all right that's it for the images next is the config where we can actually configure how the slider is going to operate so we do have access to five different themes to choose from I'm going to go with the classic for now. You can choose your image size, choose the slider dimensions, which I will change. I'm going to go with the 1200 pixels and 600 pixels for the height. Now we also have other, oh, I'm sorry, 600, not 597, 600. All right. Now down in here, we have other options, which you will typically find with any other slider plugin where you can control the slider position, our caption position as well. Choose whether or not to show the slider arrows, the navigational buttons, the pause play controls. Uh, choose whether to loop your sliders, randomize them as well, or to start them. You can choose your transition effect, which I will choose the scroll horizontal. 
you can control the duration, the transition speed, and I thought this was an interesting feature which I have never seen on any other slider plugin, which is the caption transition delay. Typically with other plugins, the caption will show immediately the image shows up. But with this plugin, you can actually determine how quickly or how late you want the caption to show for each image. And I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, we have the usual, again, the pause on navigation, pause on hover, and so on and so forth. All right. That's it for the configuration. We do have mobile options in here where you can choose to show specific image sizes for mobile devices. So you can check this box right here and then choose the dimensions you'd want to go with for the mobile devices. And then by default, captions will not be shown on mobile, which I think makes sense because you don't want people to be looking at the caption. You want them to be looking at the images. But if you wanted captions to show up on mobile devices, you can simply check this box right here if you want to. And we have the miscellaneous options where you can export your slider or import slides from external sites as well. And down in here, you can see I do have the enable image protection box checked because I have the add-on installed. Okay, let's go ahead now and publish our images slider. And now you can see I have access to the short code and also the PHP code. But what I'm going to do is to go to my pages and add a new one. And I'm going to name this page the image slider, not skyder, slider, slider. All right. I'm going to click on add slider right here and choose the images. Let's insert that. Let's now make sure this is a full width template. Let's publish the page. Now let's view the page. And there you go. That's our slider right there, as you can see. We've got the navigational buttons with the scroll, horizontal, uh, transition effect. So this is the classic theme. Let's go back in here and choose a different theme. Let's go with uh, Karma. Karma, 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 Chameleon. <laughs> well, let's go back in here. Let's refresh the page. And this is Karma with the navigational buttons to the uh, bottom right corner. So this is typically how you would create image slides using the plugin and I did mention it's responsive so let's see if I minimize the window right now you can see how the image begins to shrink relative to the browser size you can see right now and this is just incredibly responsive very very responsive again you can see check that out fantastic <laughs> that is awesome all right let me show you how you would create video slides now to create a video slide is pretty easy Let's go back in here and I'm going to click on add new. This time I'm going to say uh, videos. Let's select our files again. In here, I'm going to click on insert video slide. Now, the beauty about this plugin is that in addition to being able to show videos from your media library, you can also show videos directly from YouTube and Vimeo if you wanted to. All you would need to do would be to copy the URL link. So in this case, I do have a random video right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link. Okay, let's drag that back. And I am going to paste the link right here for the URL. And for the title, I'm just going to say uh, discussion. Discussion, and we can use that for the caption as well. Let me paste that. And there you go. Now, sometimes to be on the safe side, if you did this and the video doesn't show up, you may need to add curly brackets in between the actual code for the video. The code in this case being whatever you see after the equals sign. You can see they do have the format right in here. So for this particular format, it will be this one right here that you can see. So you may need to add curly brackets just in case, but most of the time there isn't really any issues with this. It tends to work for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click insert into slider. And now you can see we have the thumbnail right there with the video that shows it has actually recognized the video. But I want to add another video, this time a video from my media library. So I'm going to click on select files again. Let's add another video slide. But in this case, I'm going to click on upload media instead. All right, let's click on upload media. I do have two different MP4 files right here. I'm going to choose the one for use in Bolt. Let's insert the video. And for the title, I'm going to say Usain Bolt is the fastest. 
He is the greatest. He's the fastest. And uh, just copy that. And let's use that for the caption again. And I love you, Simbolt. I think he's the greatest athlete of all time. Let's insert that into the slider. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to choose a custom uh, thumbnail for your video, you can simply click on the pen button right here, and then you can choose uh, the video placeholder image by simply clicking on in here and then choose the image. So in this case, uh, let's see. I actually didn't plan for this particular one. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Oh my gosh, I did not choose. Let's use the plane. <laughs> Since he's as fast as the plane, let's use that one instead. All right, let's save our meta. Let's close that. And now let's go ahead and publish the slide. Okay, so you can see we have the video uh, thumbnail right there. Okay, cool. Now let's go to pages. Let's add a new one. And I'm going to say video slider. Let's make sure this is a full, no full width, no sidebar. Let's publish. Now let's view the page. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. We actually forgot to insert the slider. <laughs> I apologize for that. Let's add the slider, first of all. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, cool. We've added the slider. Let's update. And now let's view the page. And there you go. So that's a video slider, but it's... Uh, it's too small, so let's go back and make some changes. Okay, let's go back to Soliloquy. Click on Soliloquy. Videos, let's click on Edit. Let's go back to Config. And let's change the dimensions once again to 1200 to 600. Uh, for the theme, we'll stick with Base for now. Let's update. And now let's go back to our Pages. Let's view the video slider. And there you go, we have our video slider. I can play the video, I can skip it, as you can see. We can go to the very next video, which has Usain Bolt in the commercial right there. Awesome. We can click again. Uh, let's make sure this one is actually plain. So there you go, we have the video slider plain, and uh, it is responsive, and I can minimize the window right now. And you can see how this looks like. Very, very responsive, you can see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's how you would create video slides using the plugin. And uh, we also can create HTML slides as well. So to create an HTML slide is pretty much the same way how you would create a video slide. Let's go back once again. And uh, to create a video slide, you click on Select Files from Other Sources. But rather than clicking on Insert Video Slide, you'll click on Insert HTML Slide. And from here, you can now add your HTML code. So that's it for the plugin. Uh, let's talk about the pricing options before we go. They do have th four different licenses. We have the Personal, Multi, Developer, and then Master. I would recommend that you either go with the Multi or the Developer licenses because this will give you at least for the multi license, which I use, you will get the image protection, slider templates, and you'd also be able to use the plugin on three different sites. However, if you have only one site and you don't care about the image protection, you can always just stick with the personal license, which is $19. But with the developer, you do get access to all the additional uh, effects and features like the PDF slider. Uh, thumbnail navigation, light box, carousel effects, and so on and so forth. You can also try using the coupon code SAVE20. I don't know if the coupon will still work at the time you're watching this video, but it has been active for a couple of weeks right now, and I would assume it's still going to be active for quite a while. So you will find the link to buy the plugin in the resources link below in the description box be sure to check that out thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video please like it and uh subscribe don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so thank you so much and we'll see you next time Bye bye